Sky Strikers are back, baby. Let's go. Seeing Engage and activating Engage made me very happy. So I thought, why not? With the, I enlisted the help of Mr. Ryan Yu. And we're going to give to you guys today the best Sky Striker deck profile and theory for the new upcoming format for all you guys to watch and learn. In this video, I'm going to showcase a combo tutorial and theory idea, a dual match, as well as a deck profile. Before we get into it though, I need you all to do me a massive favor and do yourselves a massive favor and check out the Patreon down below. Take advantage of the deals, baby. 15% off for all yearly members and on entry of your yearly membership, you get a free Triff Gaming exclusive perform a power point map and you get one-on-one -on -one coaching group coaching go check it out down below on 15 percent off so why not before we get into the video here to smash the subscribe button smash the like button and let's get started on sky striker time baby pure star sky striker i'm with her i'm with ray let's go <laughs> time baby it's time to showcase the world how good this deck is so look at my hand here's the beauty of this deck you don't need to open engage this is a go second deck now right so you're playing go second look at your hand you have access to engage could be at one or it could one or five it doesn't matter you have access to engage every single turn i can't stress you can get it any single okay it does matter if you have engage at five please never be a five but you get what i'm trying to say doesn't matter if engage is at one it's fucking at 30 because your deck searches engage every single turn. So the idea behind this deck is you play going second. It, it, so you could go Hayate to send it. And Kagari to add. You negate all your opponent's cards. You have Widow Anchor and Imperm right off the bat. You have Ghost Spell to slow down this turn. So there's three cards to slow down. And then you have Rota Multi-Roll Area Zero. That's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Use both of these to stop his cards from doing anything. Rota into, into Ray. You go uh, Ray, pop, pop. You get Kagari. You get a free Afterburner. Great. You could have got Widow Anchor if you wanted as well. Maybe pop another card with Afterburner if you want as well. Store some extra counters here. If you want, you could also pop your Area Zero eventually if you wanted to to get a second Ray. And here I'm going to go into Hayate. Send everyone's favorite card. What I'm going to do here actually, I'm going to send a Widow Anchor. I, I do not want to resolve Engage Turn 1 right now in this scenario because I don't have enough spells. So what I'm going to do instead is set a Widow Anchor that I can set at the end phase. And then the end phase, just search and engage. So next turn, your engage is drawing multiple times with your first engage and Kagari's going to search one. You never want multi-roll to set an engage because you don't want it gone. And this is just the gist of the deck. Your opponent will have to deal after you cleared his entire board with Widow Anchor and Permanence. You just cleared his entire board with that stuff. And now you just have to deal with all these again. After burning, like, it's so good. Now I'm going to show you guys a deck profile. Sorry, I'm going to show you guys now a duel with this deck, a match against Sky Striker Orcus, very dear to my heart. Then I'm going to showcase you guys a deck profile with a lot more theory. So let's get into it. I have a lot of matches with Sky Striker. Like, I, I've been testing this deck a lot with some of my friends. We think that it's going to be very good this format just because of Engage. Look at my hand. My hand is ass. My hand is not good at all. But the idea. So I decided to go first here, by the way. Uh, not knowingly. I did it by accident. I literally went. I, it's a habit. I'm, I'm a pen, pen god, bro. I'm a pendulum player. I click first like instantly. Like, oh, I want the Dyro. Fuck yeah, baby. I want the Dyro. Let's go. Yeah, I go first. I go. You, that's all I did. I meant to go second. I didn't not want to go first. So if we went second here, we had Imperm Ash, uh, Widow Anchor to stop him. And then we have uh, Terraforming Rose. We we're set. I did not want to activate Area Zero here. I don't know why I didn't. I just felt um, I was happy with uh, my three interruptions. I didn't want. I, maybe I just want. I want this to be Mystic Mind. I don't know what he's playing. I just opt not to use it. I get engaged and I'm lit. I just wait. So we're gonna see what he's playing here. He's playing Sky Striker Orcus. And you know what I should have done here? I should have activated Terraforming for Area Zero in case he had Droll. He could Droll me and I wouldn't give a fuck. I just wanna use it. It is sometimes a good play to bait Droll in case they have it. I should have done it. So anyways, I assume he drew Phantasm for turn here. He goes Orchestrator return. And one, he draws nothing, and yeah, that's it. He didn't have anything. I asked the return, obviously, and it stopped him in his tracks. So here, I'm going to feel the, the droll, where if I just used Terraforming last time, I could have avoided that. Let this be a big lesson to all you guys. If, if scenario like this, even if you don't have to activate it, just use it to search area zero. If they have droll, they'll use it right then and there. You just wasted droll for them for nothing. So if you're going to set sometimes like this, try and bait droll before you do. 
So next, uh, I recognize what's going on. I'm like, okay, let me fill my graveyard a little bit, get some interruptions going with Kagari, the Phantasmes. I'm like, all right, fuck, that's not good. And now at this point, I think for sure that he has a hand of Orcus. I think he has a hand of Orcus. So I do not want to trigger the Phantasme ever because I know he has a hand of Orcus unless I absolutely have to. So here I put Shark Cannon in the graveyard, uh, get it back with Kagari, and I can't add from deck, but that's fine. Here, maybe I should have Afterburner popped the Phantasme, but he just drew into Orcus Nightmare, so I actually called it perfectly. But he, like, I thought he'll have no play. Last turn, he had no play, and no play at all. So he normal's Ash to go into uh, Nightmare Phoenix here. I was expecting a Needle Fiber, but he wants to discard the Nightmare. Instantly, when I see that, I banish the World Wand. He activates Engage. I'm like, wow, this fucking brings back some memories. Sky Striker, Orcus. But we'll see who's engages better. I still have Widow Anchor and Imperm here. I'm taking this very slowly. He wants to resolve Kagar. Uh, he wants. He recognized that he can't do too much here, so I let it die. Uh, I have Rose and Grave, but it's just this is lit. This is I show my game and this GG. So here we're gonna go into game two here, and uh, he makes me go first. I go engage off the off the off the top. <laughs> of course, we're gonna open one engage, and I have Widow Anchor Shark Cannon. He has a solid hand as well, so we'll see how this goes. So here he's going to go into Rhoda. I'm going to go spell the first thing I can see. I don't want him to get going here. Uh, he normal summons the Armageddon. I just negate that. He attacks. That's great. I really need a Ray badly. If I get a Ray here, the game's over. And I draw Skull Mice. So I'm like, fuck, this isn't looking good. And that's when I realized Sky Striker is a deck that you could just stall for five turns until you get Ray. And once you get Ray, you're fucking golden. So here he goes. going to go into Girsu. Uh, I instantly banish the World Wand. Uh, here he's going to... I recognize I'm like, man... He's doing Galatea, he's too far ahead, I have nothing else. He's gonna negate my Kagari, or Ray, boom. Here, I decide to go first, unlike the first time. I think to myself, I'm like, I'm the motherfucking Pengon, bro. I will never fucking go second, even though this deck is designed to go second. I don't care, I think this will be enough. I chain and bring out Shizuku, I add a Ray for the following turn, I'm gonna add an engage for next turn, and that's it. He, Crow and Ash will stop all this. He, he negates the search, he goes upstart, sends Armageddon, he said later that he should have activated Babel. He definitely should have activated Babel first. But it would end on the same same result. I would just Ash the Nightmare. He would call it by. He would bring World Wand. And then I'll DD Crow the World Wand. So it will be the exact same result here. So we're going to go into my turn here. I, I just draw every fucking Sky Striker monster known to fucking mankind. But it's fine. Real Kagari into Engage. I have a few plays. I'm like, damn, I could put some serious damage on board. But it's not enough. Searching the engage there. You might even call that a little greedy. I could have just searched Shark Cannon. Uh, Widow Anchor or Shark Cannon. And not be hit by an Ash. Which it very easily could have been there. But we got lucky there. So I pop with Area Zero. I get a Widow Anchor. And uh, I'm going to just normal summon Rose. So I have both Engrave, Rose and Ray. And Shizuku. I don't think you cannot activate Ray if you, uh, you pop your own card. Uh, by an effect, so if you destroy my body, you can summon it, but you can't do it if it if it leaves the field from your own card effect. And now here, he's gonna go. I search, so he passes again because he doesn't have a play. And at this point, when sky strikers get rolling, you can't you can't lose, man. You can't lose when this deck gets rolling. I have those spells in grave. I don't even need it. I'm gonna go engage here. I'm just gonna do sky striker things, bro. This is the beauty of sky striker. When it gets going, you fucking lose. I was in no man's land there, turn one. And now, just like that, I have fucking 10 cards on the field in hand. There's nothing you can do. Even if you had cards you could play, I have fucking Shark Cannon, Shark Cannon, Widow Anchor. There's nothing you can do. So here, I'm just going to OTK him with access code and, and summon Ray and then just GG. So the, just a little showcase of the I'm sure guys the deck profile now and a lot of theory on the deck. I think theory is very important uh, because without theory, uh, you, you can't just take a random deck list you've never seen in your life and try and put it into practice. Be, oh, cool deck list, bro. But you have to understand the theory behind it so you understand how to make the plays. Anyways, I'll show you guys that now. This is the deck list. This deck list was built by Ryan. He helped me out a lot with this. Very reliant with you have five Mystic Minds. Mine is amazing in this format. And you're playing 14 Hand Traps. And just the typical uh, stuff. Uh, Sky Circuit stuff. One thing I want to mention in terms of theory. Uh, do not desires right away. Don't You don't want to banish your Engage. Engage is so easily accessible. Just wait till you don't get engaged out of your deck. Don't preemptively use the desires. You, you want to go second with this deck, right? You want to go second. So when you're going second with this deck, uh, you just use your Hayate to send it or Shizuku if it gets negated. And then you get the engage out and then you desires after, even if you have to wait a turn. Don't banish engage from your deck. It defeats the whole win con of this deck. You have triple Kagari, so you're getting your engage every single turn anyways. And that actually works out absolutely perfect. Just play one of each of these. Obviously, you need to play Fibersleep Nexus Code. Ningirsu is also a good one to play. Uh, helps to get rid of Dragoon. 
and this is a side deck you put in seven, uh, seven more hand traps. I personally like one rows. Uh, if you want to play two rows, this is how much Ryan plays here. I, I personally enjoy one. I think one is better. So I, I could take out that for the one. And if I were to play this deck, I think I might remove hand traps for, uh, for trap cards going second. Uh, trap cards in conjunction with cards like Widow Anchor and Shark Cannon. It's so hard uh, to lose going second with this deck. And I just love trap cards. You guys know you guys saw my Salman Great version. So if I were to play it, uh, maybe it will be with traps. But Ryan Yu knows this deck way more than I do. So we'll take his advice uh, on this. I just think that if you play 20 traps in conjunction with Widow and Shark, which also count as, as counter traps, you just destroy your opponent so easily. So I'm a big fan of that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, clearly, this is a fucking top meta contender, this format. But it, uh, so if you guys want to take this list to rate it, I'm sure you guys will do very well with it. Uh, the fucking Stri striker god himself, Ryan, made it. So if you guys want to uh, check this out, go, go use it. Clap people on rated. Come back for the next video. The next video, I got a dandy for you guys. It's going to be kept secret for a while. I've been working a lot on it. I've been working on this video that I'm going to show you guys in a, in a few days before the balance even came out. So with the balance, it makes it extra cooler. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Check out the Patreon down below. 15% off and an exclusive playmat. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yeah. <laughs>